Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel. Hello. My name is Jenna. Hey, <laughs> my name is Jenna. I'm Dior. And tonight we are going to talk about Put a Ring on It, Season 3, Episode 4. Um, but before we begin, please turn on your notifications, like this video, subscribe, and comment when we're done. All right, guys. So let's start. It goes with um, who's starting to be my least favorite couple. And it's not because it's only because of one person. And that is Otis and Charlie. Um, they, their relationship, I don't even know how to describe it. It's just like, it's definitely not healthy. Toxic. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I think a lot of, um, all of them are toxic. But yeah, so yeah, that's true. Like for any of them to end in marriage, I think would be like a pretty big mistake. You know, so um, so Otis is still not receiving what Dr. Nicole is trying to tell him. He still thinks that he is right and she is not listening to him and is backing up Charlie instead of realizing what she's saying is correct. He's just like he has like, you know, earplugs on. He's like, la, 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 la. And he's not <laughs> hearing anything that she's yeah. saying. You know, and um, he's on the defense for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Charlie's taking it in and the doctor does kind of seem like she's on her side only because he's wrong, you know? So, um, but, you know, they talk about Otis's date. Um, he said it went well, he mm -hmm. liked her. And then Charlie talked about her date and she said it went really great. She was really impressed with him. Mm -hmm. You know, he told her that he was a physicist and um, he, or he went to school for physics and he wanted to be an astronaut. And she's like, you know, I've never met anyone who um, wanted to be an astronaut. Then of course, Otis's big lug got jealous. I was like, hey, I want to be an astronaut too. <laughs> And, and then um, Kenneth chimed in. He's like, yeah, I want to be an astronaut. So, of course, Otis was trying to downplay the other guy because he was jealous. And um, so then Dr. Nicole um, asked Otis, or well, before that, he asked Otis, she asked Otis if he wanted to go on a second date. And he said yes. And I really don't think he was, he's that interested in his date. I think he said yes to the second date to kind of try to make um, Charlie jealous. Yeah, I don't know. I, I couldn't really tell um, on the first day. I mean, he was acting interested. I just couldn't, yeah. I couldn't really tell if he really truly was interested or not. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think he is, but um, only he knows, right? <laughs> <laughs> and he's not that expressive except if he's mad. That's so frustrating. Yeah. Like, <sighs> these, um, all of these couples or these individuals are just exhausting. Mm -hmm. Charlie, <laughs> not so much, you know? What? And not, not, well, to me, she's not. Like, I don't know. She doesn't, and neither does Shorty. Shorty, Shorty seems like- I like Shorty. Shorty. She's I don't know why she's with Kenneth, but- um, Yeah, I definitely is. like Shorty, but Charlie, she's just- insecure and it's just mm -hmm. it's kind of a turn off you know I mean I I think she was less insecure this episode than the previous one when they were um, on the dates the mutual dates I didn't think she was that bad she only looked at him a little bit and then that was it. She didn't make when he any. Came in there, she's like, "Hey, like, I mean, like, you're." Just well, I think you have to acknowledge each other. Are you? Are you just going to ignore each other? You guys are in a relationship. You can say like, "Hi," and then that's it. Like, but I don't think you have should. to do it that way. I mean, if he was ignoring her, she should have just kept going with her date and just, you mm -hmm. know, paid attention to mm -hmm. her date. Yeah, I didn't. I think she paid attention to him the whole time, except for maybe that "Hey," and then she made like one comment. You know, but I, I didn't think she was bad. I thought she was pretty good. <laughs> really? Because remember when they were, they were at yoga class, right? We're talking about yeah. the right couple. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, he, I guess they were doing tree pose. It was some things where he was kind of off balance. He's just like, look at him. He's like, he doesn't have his balance. Oh, um, they, they messed up. 
Like she kept, she kept oh, looking. I must have missed that. The only thing I, I, I heard was when she said that, um, you know, that at the end of the class, that was great. You know, we did much better than they did. Oh no. I, yeah. She was saying some other things about look at them and in the other her date looked a little uncomfortable because she kept like talking about them hmm. <laughs> and looking okay. over there <laughs> uh-huh. okay so then um charlie says that going back to the um doctor session charlie mm-hmm. says that um she does want to go on a second date with um her guy and then the doctor kind of hinted that like are you sure that you guys are doing this for the right reason going on these second dates. And she's like, I'm definitely interested in my date. And he didn't say anything. Mm-hmm. Um, so then um, we go to, um, I think it was, oh, Shorty and Kenneth. Then they talk about their date. And um, I was surprised because Shorty said um, that she had, she has a great connection with Hollywood, but she doesn't want to go on a third date because she still wants to work on her relationship with um, Kenneth. And she feels like they have such a good connection that if she does, then how can she work on, you know, her relationship? Mm -hmm. So she's choosing to go on um, a date with someone new. Mm -hmm. Uh And for me, I thought that kind of like defeated the purpose. I thought you were doing this to find out if you could make a strong connection with someone else. And if you did, then you knew that your person wasn't the one for you. That's what I thought the whole premise of the show was. I'm not sure exactly if that is it, but I'm, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I, I know they're supposed to date to kind of see what else is out there. Right, right. But I guess if they are meeting someone that they're interested in and they're still choosing to kind of work on their relationship and they still choose to want to be with that person. I guess it kind of works, right? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess so. If you look at it that Which way. Which one was the one between them two that wanted to get married? Was it her or him? He does. Oh, he, he does. okay. Yeah, yeah, he's the one. Okay. Um, yeah, so they, she's still wanting to work on the relationship. And of course- Kenneth was like, no, I don't want another date, which was no, no surprise. He's hmm. all in on um, Shorty, <laughs> for sure. Um, so no second date for either of them, or third date for um, Shorty. Then we go to um, Shay and Lorenzo and their hot mess of a relationship. Like, they have a real issue because he... he I don't know. It's like they had this perceived, she has a perceived um, notion that he is cheating, a perceived cheating is what they call it. Mm -hmm. He doesn't see it that way, Mm -hmm. you know, and she can't trust them because he never recognizes her when um, they're together. And the way that he's acting would make any sane woman question it. Yeah. You know, like if if giving some woman money, and then didn't like kind of at the end of that session, he said he didn't really know her that well. Who even and so knows? like, why he, would you be happened. giving him? Yeah. He, <laughs> no, it was, it was someone else. It was, oh, um, okay. yeah, it was someone else that he said, cause she didn't bring up the money theme at the um, session. She did that in the interview. It oh, was, yeah, it was okay. someone else that he said that he barely knew that went up to him or something like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not sure if he's not acknowledging her or he's letting all these women come up to him so that he could have like a certain image with the ladies because he's Rick Ross's manager, one of his managers. So I don't know if that's the reason or not, or he just doesn't see it as a problem. Yeah, I don't know. I like him kind of just laughing at everything, like, like everything's a joke. That would just like set me off. (laughs) Like I'm really upset about this This is really an issue. And you're over here laughing. And I understand people do that as like a coping mechanism or whatever, Mm -hmm. but that's not going to work for me. (laughs) And even the doctor, she she gives really good advice because she was like, you know, even if what you're doing isn't what she thinks you're doing, the fact that it's bothering her, you have to decide, is it worth it? Is what I'm doing worth making her feel 
feel bad and we're um, stopping our relationship from growing. And I think that kind of like woke it up for him to make him start thinking about that. Um, but, you know, like, I guess time will tell if it really sunk in and, and if he's going to change. Because he seems so like chill about everything, mm. you know, like nothing really bothers him. So I don't know if that's his personality and that's how he manages things, but that would also drive me crazy. Because if I'm getting mad, I need you to get mad too yeah. <laughs> or do something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, they, they have a lot to work on, a lot. So, um, so now they get to go on a date and everyone's going on dates, but they're going on dates together in the same place, which mm -hmm. seems like a shit show to me. Like, you know, something <laughs> is not gonna go right, you know? So, but it, it makes for good TV, right? Okay. So, and I don't know what the purpose of that is. Like, well, she said to, I don't know, that way so that they can focus, not be concerned about what the other person is doing. It was trust. Trust was the purpose oh. of it. <laughs> I was like, I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was trust. Cause like, if you don't trust the person, you're probably like wanting to know. I mean, I think whether you trust the person or not, you're going to be a little bit curious, but I think if you trust the person, you can compose yourself and focus on your date. Cause you know that you're good over there. If you don't mm -hmm. have trust, you talking out the side of your neck like you just <laughs> I don't know I think even a good relation I think any relationship even a great one if you see your significant other on a date with someone else you're gonna be looking you're gonna, you're gonna be, be looking but you wouldn't be like saying things directing things that they're you know mm -hmm. to, to their date because right. you would know that you know, you're good. You don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're going to be curious because you just want to know what they're doing, but. Right, but that's a big test. I think it's a big test for any relationship. I think it would be hard, be you know. Ones, yeah. Yeah, it'd be worse for rocky ones, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> much worse. Okay, so now we get to the dates, which are all interesting and all different. Um, so Otis and Charlie, so Charlie met her date, Milan, his date, Milan. She came up. She looked even younger <laughs> today than she did. And uh, I think she looked day. better to me today. She did look better. Yeah. Yeah. She looked much better. And um, so they met and, you know, the girls, Charlie was cool. They complimented each other. That was yeah. Yeah. She was real cool. They complimented each other and, um, you know, talked a little bit. And then she mentioned how... <clears throat> Otis thought that she looked real young, which was a little bit of a, you know, some shade. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> and so, but the girl took it well. She's like, yeah, I look, I'm young. I look good. She didn't say that, <laughs> but that's how she she took it. And then um, they said goodbye to each other. But then, like, Otis did this weird move where he went and hugged um, Charlie goodbye in front of the date. I I didn't know why he did that. That mm -hmm. was that was awkward. Um, and so they left. Um, got to the yoga studio, was talking, you know, getting along. She was really open about Charlie. She wasn't jealous at all, which she shouldn't be because she doesn't know Otis. And, <laughs> um, and then um, I thought it was funny. So then Charlie and her date walks in and Charlie date has these big bouquet of flowers. And, <laughs> um, yeah, they walked in with the flowers and, um, but Otis didn't react. I don't know if he didn't see them but he didn't react. And then things got a little awkward. I think they were both like, like overacting a little bit. Um, Cause she was like, oh, why don't you stretch me? And then he started stretching, <laughs> trying to make each other a little bit jealous. And then yeah. he was looking at her back tattoo, like it was the 16th chapel artwork. And so it was just, it was a bit much, but I mean, <laughs> it's to be expected. Yeah. And, yeah. And so, um, you know, Otis just, for me, he just acts like a child, you know, like a big child. And I don't know. He just gets on my nerves. And then at the end, you know, Dan was in the room while I was watching it. And um, he, Otis walks over to, um, to Charlie and then he goes to kiss her goodbye. And mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, and she was like, no, 
what are you doing? You know, I thought that was just so inappropriate. And even Dan was like, he, he was like, why, why did he do that? Yeah. Why is he going to walk over there and try to kiss her? I mean, it makes it awkward for her date and it makes it even more awkward for his date. Mm-hmm. And it was just unnecessary. He was just trying to um, stake his claim on her when mm-hmm. the guy already knows that they're together. Marking his territory. Sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that was that was just weird. And it made him look kind of like thirsty, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, but maybe it was just to kind of throw her off a little bit. Because, you know, she... You know, she she wasn't, you know, happy about him being on a date. And now mm-hmm. she's thinking like, oh, he tried to kiss me. I wonder why. Like, it takes a focus, oh, her right. focus off her mm-hmm. date, you know? Right, not, yeah. Not only being rude to his date, but, I mean, to her date, but taking her focus off of her mm-hmm. date as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's how that date went. <laughs> and then uh, you we- think would- that- well, do you think either of them will choose to go on another date with their dates? I really don't know because this this wasn't a good date to get to know your date because mm-hmm. of all that was going on. So I think it would be hard to decide to go on another date based on this date, you know? Yeah. I wonder if the dates can say decline to go mm-hmm. on a second date with them because I'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> To both of them no yeah I I'm sure they I, I mean I'm sure they can yeah. <laughs> I think that would be very interesting if they did. <laughs> <laughs> so then we had um Shay and um Lorenzo State um uh so Shay and Lorenzo State and um Shay walks in with her date who she thought was very attractive I didn't think so. <laughs> she I was like, that's interesting. But like, I was, I, I don't know. Uh, but as long as she did this, all the matters. And she looked fantastic. I thought, I thought she looked really good. Mm-hmm. And so they're hitting it off really good. Um, laughing, flirting, you know, asking each other questions. And then it was all good until Lorenzo walks in with his date. And then um, things got like way out of touch. But before that, they were talking, um, let's rewind a little bit. They were talking in the car after the doctor session. And you could see that um, she was, she's really in love with him because they were talking about going on these dates with other Mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And then she started crying. And I was like, girl, what are you doing? Why are you crying? <laughs> and, but she couldn't help herself. And she started crying because the thought of him going out with someone else was so painful. And I was surprised that he was touched about that. And he recognized how much, you know, he was like, wow, this girl must really love me. But it's like, wh- why all of a sudden would you see that when she's been showing you probably the whole relationship, how much, mm-hmm. you know, she loves you. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But, yeah. But then he also said that um, that he it choked him up and he was almost going to cry because she was crying. And uh, that surprised me because he wasn't laughing for once, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yeah, so I guess she this it was going to be really difficult for her. And it definitely was um, as soon as he walked in, you know. Hey, yeah. <laughs> girl he may yeah. have escorted her date right on at the restaurant because he wasn't there anymore <laughs> right right yeah that's true he was not and he tried hard to get his her attention back on him mm-hmm. but no she wasn't trying to hear it she could not stop looking over there and you know I th- I got what Lorenzo meant Alfonso <laughs> <laughs> I got what Alfonso was trying to do. He was trying to focus on his date, but he mm-hmm. should have acknowledged her when he walked in. He should be like, hey, how you doing? How are you? And then, you know, went on his date with, instead of just completely ignoring her, especially since he knows how she is, you know, so. But, okay, yes, he knows how she is, 
but she also knows how he is. So she should have just let wrote it down in her mental Rolodex and mm-hmm. talked about it at the therapy session because we already we just got off the couch where you said that he never introduces you to anybody oh, and he, he won't said- introduce you to his mama so that's that should just be your mental note like should I be in this relationship yeah but they just had that session where he was like okay yeah you're right that's something I need to work on Mm-hmm. So he should have worked it. on this was his first chance to work on it. And he didn't. So he that's did. just your that's your note mm-hmm. that this relationship is probably not where you want to be. Is that well, it's not, it's where she wants to be, but it's well, probably not where, where she, she should, should be. be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so she has to come to that realization at some point. Or like she just when? I don't know. She probably because might just stay. You at know? the end of this experiment, like especially that couple. Like he's just if if you guys make it to the end of this experiment, um, he's just getting to the point where he's acknowledging that he needs to acknowledge you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not ready for marriage if he just got there. Oh yeah, I know. Like marriage is so it's like marriage. what y'all not even ready to even be on y'all haven't even gotten to the level to even be on this show because the next <laughs> step for you is not marriage, it's probably like um exclusivity because maybe y'all don't have that right now (laughs) well hopefully he does according to him he does they do but none of these couples should get married they should they should hire dr nicole on for some one-on-one counseling yeah yeah so then you know he's ignoring her um and then he and his you know date they just sat down so they're just getting to know each other Mm -hmm. so they're trying to have like conversation Mm -hmm. And they have some chemistry because she's pretty, mm-hmm. you know? And um, so they're talking and she's watching and she can't stand to see him having a good time. So she starts to get upset. She tries to read lips. And then she thinks that, you know, he's she's saying something to her, even though she didn't think that. I think she just used that as a way to, you know, interject exactly. into their conversation. And then she starts an argument with her. And it, it's crazy. She looks crazy, you know, and it just escalates. And she won't, the, her date is trying to calm her down. Alfonso is sitting down, not trying to get into it, into, in between them. He's not telling the date to calm down. And I don't know if he should, you know. That's what was making me so mad because she was so upset. Shay was so upset because he wasn't telling her to be quiet. And I'm like, girl, you started this. Right. And what do you expect? Like you came at her. Mm-hmm. She he told you, no, I was not speaking about you. You kept going on and on. You were making her talk back right. to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did you but as, Yeah. But as a man, as her man, I think she's like, why aren't you saying something to her? But he doesn't know he her to say something, something to her. He should have told no, her. No, he should. No, no, no. If I'm okay. getting mad at, no, no, it doesn't matter. If I'm getting mad at someone else, and you try to tell me to be quiet, then I'm going to mad at you and them. So you wrong either say wrong. nothing, you say nothing <laughs> yes, like don't say anything. or you try to calm the other person down, um, the, the date. But he shouldn't do that either because he doesn't know her like that. He doesn't know that date to be like, no, you sit down, you be quiet. Because no, he shouldn't. He definitely, he should just be quiet and then go over to her and say, are you okay? What's going on? But it's, it was just a mess. And then- she says that she's going to leave. She, she doesn't leave. Instead, she does that little okie doke and goes after the girl, goes towards her. And I then the girl- hit her upside the head with that plate. I would have <laughs> been okay with it. Yeah, she's from Detroit. So she was ready. She picked up that huge plate. Heavy plate. <laughs> and was ready to knock her out with it. And that didn't stop Shay. <laughs> she was still going towards her, you know, so- that's I don't know. I hope she watches this tape back and she's embarrassed with herself because I just don't get it. I like, I don't understand why a woman would let a man like, I mean, he didn't, I don't know that he did anything to get her that way, but if someone makes you feel that way or gets you riled up or you feel that way about them doing whatever they're doing, that should be like a note to yourself that like you you gotta prioritize yourself in the at that point and say that like 
her blood pressure is probably rising. She oh, probably yeah. got all this undue stress for what? <laughs> like, <laughs> and he's yeah. just laughing at you. So yeah. like, why are you doing that? What are you in love about? What what I is? Know. I haven't heard her say not one thing that he does for her that she can't live without. I haven't heard it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it just because he has money? I don't think so. She's too deep into it just to be about money. Like she is too crazy about him for it to be. But just for about what? Him. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's great and bad. Maybe he. I mean, then Bill, Bill special. I don't know. I don't know what their relationship is, but she is from. You don't know his family. You probably don't know his friends. Like, <laughs> do y'all live together? I, I don't know. He don't want to have kids. Which oh no, he said he would give her a kid. I think he did say he would give her a kid because she wants one. But he already has what three children. Oh, so, I don't know. I thought he said he had three children. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I haven't heard. I just want to know what it is about him that you want so bad. Yeah, I, I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what like a lot of times it ends up being. There's not really anything about that person. Maybe it's just that you invested your time in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think and down the road it becomes harder. like that. That yeah. you don't want to start all over yeah. and that, you know, you know, you might as well just stay together. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long they've been together. I can't remember how long it's been. I don't remember either, but I don't, I don't think any of them have been together, like a significant amount of time, right. like, yeah. two, like two years, I think was, it's the longest was what I heard. I haven't heard. I don't think I remember anyone saying longer than two years. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm um, going back to Shorty and Kenneth. Like to me, it doesn't seem like Kenneth is in this at all for himself. He's just in this, I think, because Shorty wants to do this. Because I don't think he feels that there's anything wrong with their relationship. Where she sees major issues, he doesn't seem to see them. And he's only doing this for her, not mm-hmm. because he feels like they need to do that, mm-hmm. do it. So I don't, I don't know what she's expecting. But to that's get out of this. at least one of them in each relationship, right? Um, no, but I think they're no, I think the the both of them, the other two couples, they're in it to find out if if okay. what if, you know, if what, if they're, they should be together, you know, but for, because, but one does want to get married and one doesn't, but I Mm -hmm. think they're both in it to go through the experience and find out the answer. Okay. Whereas Kenneth, I think he already has his answer and he doesn't, I don't think he feels like anything's going to come out of it. And I don't know exactly what Shorty thinks is going to come out of this because they only have those short sessions with the doctor and it's not one-on-one so I don't know what she's thinking that she's going to discover yeah and do we know what her issue is with him not really I know she doesn't feel like he communicates um but I other than that I really don't don't know maybe it'll come out later in the season Mm -hmm. what their issue is yeah yeah so um, next episode, we get the conclusion of Shay and Alfonso's dates. Mm-hmm. And then, um, they go on, I guess they go on more dates. Well, no, we missed, we didn't see Shorty. Shorty, oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Shorty and, and Lorenzo's date. No, no, Shorty and- You just and, wanted and, Lorenzo to I know, <laughs> I want Lorenzo on the show. <laughs> Shorty, and <Kenneth. laughs> Shorty and Kenneth's date. Yeah, that's true, which is- I mean, it's, it's going to be another shit show too. So. <laughs> oh, so, uh-huh. I know similar to the show. Have you started watching the ultimatum? Yeah. 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 Okay. That, yeah. that show is, um, it's entertaining. It was interesting to me because it's like similar to this, but mm-hmm. they're going about it differently. Differently. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, one thing I, I noticed about that show is that they're all young. Yeah, they're all young. The point yeah. where it's like, why are you even doing this? Like, you're just too young to even. <laughs> right. Especially April. She's like, I think she's like 22, 23 or something like that. She's oh, really is she? Young. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at the um the ultimatum part. Oh. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm at that yeah. Part. I just started last night. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's interesting, really interesting. And I think the way that they're doing it, you'll get more of an answer than the way that um, 
uh, put a ring on it. Mm-hmm. He's doing it. Um, yeah. So it's it's good. Both of them are good. If you guys haven't seen that one yet and you like put a ring on it, check it out on Netflix called The Ultimate Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, the hosts are Nick and um, Vanessa Lachey, which they're great hosts. I think mm-hmm. great. Yeah. No counseling. There's no Dr. Nicole. They got to figure <laughs> it out on their own. <laughs> but, but from what I've seen so far, like when they meet up with the other men or the other women, they're doing mm-hmm. a pretty good job. At right. least the w- women one that I just saw. Um, mm-hmm. because that girl like she was just basically like look April I think this is what your issue is and she was dead mm-hmm. on <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, like t- over talked him oh she yeah yeah him. they definitely learn a lot about themselves mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah that's good yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> I just thought like when they were doing the dating phase and the mm-hmm. one girl who um asked mm-hmm. the guy like what he like if he would want to be with her and he was like I was like I was very proud of him for being honest Mm -hmm. she was just crazy and delusional because then she accused him of being mean and I'm like but you asked him that's that's another thing I had about this put a question I had about this put a ring on it um show so when Shay sat down with her date she asked him Mm -hmm. what he thought about her Mm -hmm. I'm like who does that like is that something you do like I don't when you so saw me what did you think that just right. really shows an insecure person that you need someone to validate you like upon right upon meeting them <laughs> right and what if he doesn't like what he sees like what then yeah you know? yeah yeah and I did you see when she asked him if he thought that she was attractive was he attracted to her or no 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 so you have oh, on the ultimatum yeah yes yes yeah and then he said no yes and she, she, was and like, she Why said you? I look just like his uh, I'm the closest she said she looked the closest to his um right. girlfriend I'm like no his girlfriend is like the most plain Jane and you look like you're 40 something and you have like Botox and fillers everywhere right right and when yeah. I saw that she was 24 I was like what she looks so old <laughs> I think it's just the shape of her face and how uh-huh. thin she is okay yeah yeah because yeah she does okay we're talking about a totally different show <laughs> check it out we would like to review netflix shows but it's so hard because they dump like five at a time sometimes mm-hmm. and it just is too it's difficult to review them yeah, you know because yeah. then they're like two hour reviews and no one wants to sit through that mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well all right guys thanks for tuning in watch yeah. um our next episode next friday and your Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Bye.